Warmind launches tomorrow. How insanely awesome isn't that? What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we've got a pretty awesome video. We have the launch trailer for the Warmind expansion. We'll show that in a minute. Got information about strike-specific loot that will be inside of this DLC, a secret weapon, new exotic perks, raid weapons, and a bunch of other stuff. So let's get straight into it. Firstly, we have this new trailer from Bungie. This is the launch trailer for the Warmind DLC. You see some pretty awesome stuff in there, including some new exotics, maybe even a cheeky exotic sword. So check this out. Do you copy? The most dangerous weapon in this system is on this planet, and an entire army of Hive is trying to destroy it. This is a war of many fronts, and there's more than one way to fight it. Now, do you think Rasputin is the answer? It's a broken weapon, too dangerous to be left alone and too unpredictable to wield. Rasputin was not the only thing to awaken on Mars. So inside of this trailer, we get plenty of awesome footage on Mars in the Escalation Protocol. We can see the new gear, the snowy hive and the Valkyrie relic in action. Some of these bosses as well for the Escalation Protocol look pretty crazy. Next though, we see footage inside of the Spire of Stars raid on the Leviathan. And this is at the very top of the Leviathan ship, which looks really, really cool. Mostly we can just see Cabal enemies there. We of course see the Cabal ships above the Leviathan as well. So no hints as to whether we will see other enemy types in this uh, particular raid layer. But we get more footage of Guardians in action with new exotics. We have a new exotic sword. I say a new, this is the first exotic sword inside of Destiny 2. It's called the World Line Zero. I actually pointed this out a little while ago. Very unusual looking weapon. Obviously we can see that arc energy right there. It seems to have the slash attacks as well as an uppercut attack and a very unique style in general. Either way, really really cool we finally have an exotic sword and hopefully it will be you know pretty strong and pretty powerful the ones we had in d1 were pretty intense but of course they show off the polaris lance the new scout rifle and then the huckleberry this is the exotic submachine gun i'll talk about the perks for the huckleberry in just a moment if we get a cool screen of some ships flying in this ship actually looks really unique i'm guessing it's probably an exotic ship pretty similar style as well to that new exotic sword interestingly enough but of course this is them flying onto mars we get a cool cinematic inside of the cockpit right there and then we see Anna Bray of course talking about the army of Hive we also get a better look at Nocris once again pretty scary looking Giza and some cool story kind of cinematics as well and then of course the worm god the giant worm 
on Mars, this is right next to the bunker, appears to be in some kind of liquid, kind of around the bunker potentially. Either way, it looks really cool. Plenty more footage inside of the bunker itself. And another close up of the worm god tearing through this kind of Rasputin tech over here, which looks pretty crazy. So overall, I think a pretty awesome trailer right there. Pretty excited about the new exotics that we'll be getting. No tease of the sleeper simulum, but I still kind of have a feeling we might get it, man. I'll talk about that in a moment, but let me know your thoughts about the trailer down below. But now let's talk about strikes and strike specific loot. So of course we know that there are new strikes in the Warmind DLC. And you guys have asked me the question a lot, will there be new strike specific loot? Of course in Destiny 2 we have Nightfall strike specific loot, so the rewards are currently locked behind Nightfalls and not normal strikes in the Heroic playlist. But somebody did ask about specific loot and DMG said yes there will be new loot for the strikes in Warmind. So that's definitely good to hear. In terms of the strikes we've actually seen, of course there is strange terrain and this is the strike that will feature Nocris. So it's going to be incredibly interesting to see what this strike specific loot could be inside of this strike. On top of this there is the Will of the Thousand strike and this is the one inside of the Rasputin bunker so there could actually be a kind of Rasputin or Warmind themed reward from this one. And then there is the PlayStation exclusive Inside Terminus. The other PS exclusives so far haven't actually seen strike specific loot added to them so don't know whether it'll happen for this new strike. Also worth pointing out that the Scion bot has this kind of flare type cloak. Anyway, I'm really glad they're putting strike specific loot into these strikes as well. Next though, I want to talk about Escalation Protocol and a reward that kind of fits into the set from the Escalation Protocol, but will actually come from a different source. So Dan, one of the investment designers at Bungie, confirmed that there will be a shotgun, sniper rifle and SMG available from Escalation Protocol from various bosses. But on top of this, we have seen gameplay of the hand cannon. Of course, this fits into the set. It's also an Ikelos weapon. It has the same theme and everything like that. But someone said, are you allowed to tell us where we get the hand cannon? And Daniel Out said, not Escalation Protocol bosses, is, but I don't want to spoil everything for people. So this one will actually come from somewhere else. Of course, we've seen a lot of quests and things like that on Mars as various collectibles, and it seems very likely that there will be cool rewards behind these. However, as we just spoke about, there is the Will of the Thousand Strike inside of the Rasputin Bunker, so maybe it's a strike-specific piece. We'll have to wait and find out, but it's pretty cool that there are additional rewards. But with those being the four Ikelos weapons that we've seen, it actually gives more credibility to the possibility that Sleeper Simulant is returning. Of course, course we saw this image where we see the warlock holding a weapon that looks like sleeper simulant. Originally a lot of people said this is the shotgun but the titan has the shotgun on his back and they are a similar shape but we can see that the barrel is quite different there. There is also another screenshot where you can see the same guardian I believe holding what looks like sleeper simulant again. Importantly though there is the blue laser on the weapon and all power weapons in D2 display a color from the barrel like that and blue is the color for fusion rifles. So again unless this is a new linear fusion of some sort or or some kind of strange rework of the weapon, then it seems like this is pretty much confirming Sleeper Simulant. Let me know your thoughts below, guys. Moving on though, just a brief thing, of course, we are getting the Spire of Stars raid layer, and we can expect there to be new gear inside of this raid layer. Ryan Jitter from Bungie a few months back, I actually spoke about this briefly before, but he did post the artwork for all of the weapons from the rest of the Leviathan set. And of course, we got a new shotgun and a grenade launcher in the Aegis of Worlds layer in Curse of Osiris. And so that does leave the fusion rifle from the set as well as the sidearm. You can see the artwork for both of these right here. So it's possible that we could see these drop from the Spire of Stars raid, but it's equally possible that they could perhaps tie them to a prestige version of Eater of Worlds, but it's pretty certain that we will get that fusion and the sidearm inside of season three. Now I wanted to talk about exotics that are coming in this expansion. Of course, we've got quite a few confirmed exotics and for a handful of them, we know the perks. So there is the Huckleberry SMG right here. This is a new archetype of SMG, 750 rands per minute. And I believe they are aggressive frame SMGs, but the Huckleberry itself is a Tex Mechanica weapon. It comes with the intrinsic perk, Ride the Bull, increased rate of fire and recoil while the trigger is held, kills with the weapon, reload a portion of the magazine, successful melee hit reloads the magazine and starts a 10 second time. Melee kills extend the timer. While the perk is active, the weapon gains an increased rate of fire. 
more damage and improved stats. So this could be an absolutely godly kind of PvE SMG, you know, with a Sentinel build or something like that. I think in both PvP and PvE, it has the potential to be a beast in close range. So I'm pretty excited to actually get to try this weapon out. But then there is the Soros Regime returning from Destiny 1. It looks like it has the spinning up and focused fire perks. So spinning up, the longer the weapon is fired, the faster it fires and focused fire when zoomed, the weapon fires slower but causes additional damage. We've got some reprise exotic armor as well. For the Apotheosis Veil, it comes with Insatiable, immediately regenerate health, melee and grenade energy upon activating your super. Armamentarium grants two grenades, so that's going to be pretty interesting if it does that for all classes in D2. Of course, some of these may have been reworked a little bit. The Claws of Ahamkara allow the Warlock to gain an additional charge for all Warlock charged melees. The Frosties for the Hunter allow a tighter turn radius while sprinting, with increased grenade and melee regeneration while sprinting. Eternal Warrior used to grant Unstoppable for Fist of Havoc, which increased your armor, so I'm not sure if that'll be a thing for the Striker Titan. But I think a few Striker Titans out there would appreciate increased armor, especially in a roaming Fist of Havoc. We'll have to see what happens. And then there is the Hunter's Sealed Ahamkara Grasps. Gain an additional melee charge, and melee damage has a chance to automatically reload your primary weapon. We'll see if they've adjusted that one for D2. But those are the known returning exotics, and then of course there are a bunch of new exotic armor pieces that we don't don't know the perks for. And then we have seen the Polaris Lance, the Anna Bray exotic in this expansion. And for this, we know that getting four crits in a row will allow the fifth crit to grant a delayed explosive solar round. So that's going to be pretty interesting. We'll have to see the rest of the perks on the weapon. But that is a breakdown nonetheless of the new exotic perks in this DLC. So anyway, guys, lots of stuff to talk about once again. Let me know your thoughts about any of this stuff in the comment section below. Super exciting now, not long to wait at all. I will keep you guys posted as always and i appreciate you watching if you're new around here be sure to hit subscribe to see more d2 and warmind content going forward check out my sponsor control freak if you want to save 10 percent on any of their products including their awesome thumbsticks or any of their new braided cables you can use code houndish and my link will be down below for now though i appreciate you watching i'll catch you guys very soon